Once you've collected a sample from your patient using an appropriate sample collection device, the next step is to package and ship that sample in a way that ensures that sample integrity is maintained and the biological substances don't leak from the package, posing a workplace hazard to both couriers and the receiving diagnostic laboratory. There's a few key principles to keep in mind when packaging your samples. Um, first is to make sure that the sample is contained within a primary watertight receptacle. This is most often accomplished by the sampling device itself. Next is to surround the primary receptacle with a sufficient quantity of absorbent material that if that primary container breaks, all of the liquid can be readily absorbed. Those two components are then um, compiled within a secondary watertight receptacle, which can be something as simple as a sealed plastic bag like a Ziploc, and the entire package is wrapped up in a sturdy outer uh, container such as a cardboard box. It's important to know that shipping regulations depend on what you're sending and what jurisdiction you're in, and knowing these regulations is your responsibility. So I would recommend that you check with both the shipper and the diagnostic laboratory you're going to be using to make sure that you're doing things appropriately. Websites for Transport Canada, as well as many of the shipping companies have a lot of information um, that can help you to ensure that you're compliant with the relevant regulations. So whether your sample is a plastic tube, a swab, or a blood sample in a glass tube, this should give you an idea of how we need to package samples for shipping. So in this case, we have a plastic tube with a um, perhaps a fecal sample in it. Um, we ensure that it's sealed completely, wrap it in our water absorbent material that's sufficient to absorb any liquids that may be present in that sample, and then seal it in a watertight Ziploc bag and careful to remove all of the air. In this case, for an added layer of protection, we've added these air-filled uh, packaging pillows um, to keep our sample safe. It's then loaded into a sturdy cardboard box, which is sealed um, and prepared for shipment to the laboratory.